Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Let me show you some pictures. Uh, the first one here, these are students at uh, Nashua Community College. Uh, many of them were in low-income jobs, some of them no jobs. Now they're in a boot camp. It's called a microelectronics boot camp at Nashua Community College. And they are going to basically, here's another picture, they're basically going on their way to jobs at places like BAE Systems in microelectronics for salaries that would go from anywhere from $16 to $26 an hour. That is a boot camp worth paying attention to, and that's what we're doing. So here is some information. Na National Community College Workforce Partnership with BAE Systems, a 10-week course on military standards and assembly techniques for radio frequency and micro, uh, microwave electronic assemblies. 70 graduates to date over two years. A hiring rate uh, at BAE of 95%. A student working at a local restaurant uh, now makes $25 an hour at BAE Systems. And here's a quote from Kevin Beals of Mercury Systems, a subgroup for BAE. There's no other program like this, he says. We're actually trying to build a program like that on the West Coast. With me to talk about this are two people who are leading this program, and they are Lucille Jordan, president of Nashua Community College. Welcome. Thank you. And Jeremy Tondro, who is vice president of operations for BAE Electronic Systems. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. How did this come about, Jordan? Well, I guess I'll start. Uh, so BA Systems is in a significant uh, growth cycle. Yep. Uh, we hired about 1,200 people last year in New Hampshire alone. Uh, and this year we're going to do about the same. Mm -hmm. uh, and because of the types of work that we do, we need a lot of different kinds of skills, uh, mostly in engineering and advanced manufacturing. Uh, but a lot of those skills aren't available in the community. Uh, right. And so we've got to get creative. You've got to actually teach those skills. Right, yeah. right. And so that's what you're doing, Lucille? Yes. That's what you're doing at National Community College. Absolutely. This is unique because they have put, if I understand, about $200,000 worth of equipment into the college so you can train and educate these uh, students. Mm -hmm. Yes, we couldn't have done it without the partnership. It was their engineers coming together with our faculty to yeah. develop the curriculum. And because we're a community college, we can be nimble and we can respond quick to their need as well as having the expertise of those engineers to design it for what, not only what BAE did, but BAE was unique. And this model is unique because they looked at their supply chain. There are also students who then go to work for companies within their supply chain. So they can keep a standard as well, which I think is really important. When they come in, these aren't regular credit students, no. students for credit. These no. are students coming out of jobs like in restaurants and laundromats and some unemployed. Some unemployed. Um, we have students from disadvantaged backgrounds. My Turn is a significant partner with us mm -hmm. um, who really look to job training for those who are um, have a lot of challenges, both mostly it's a financial challenge that they've had, and those students come in. We've had a student we call, he was a uh, homeless, but he slept from sofa to sofa from friend to friend. Right. He um, He's doing very, very well now. He's working at BAE, comes to college with us at night, but he's also investing his dollars. Uh, he's uh, learned how to do that. Jeremy, another yeah. example? So uh, one of my favorite examples of uh, one of the success stories through this, uh, through this program is uh, one of the folks who was a cashier in our cafeteria uh, in one of our facilities actually got uh, interested in this program, sort of went through it, uh, was successful, and is now part of our uh, advanced manufacturing team building microelectronics. What are they exactly doing when they're working on microelectronics at your facility? What are they doing? Sure. So, so microelectronics are very challenging to manufacture because they're very small. Uh, and so it creates some very unique skills that are needed to do the manufacturing. Uh, so these people would be working on assembling these microelectronics, uh, bonding one component to another, mm -hmm. attaching the components into these uh, very densely populated electronics, and, and they would go on to some of the most advanced and that's fighter jets. Because you are a defense contractor mm -hmm. with electronic uh, warfare systems and laser-guided um, uh, rockets, which is uh, so all of that is aimed at that kind of product that you're producing uh, for the defense industry. I know. Um, how do the students find you, or how do you find the students? We do it yeah. actually, yeah. a great deal of it. Yeah. We do get recommendations from BAE, but we have a workforce development person, John Mason, 
and John goes out into the community and also now the program is so well known that they're coming to us. This class is full already and we're getting ready for our January class. How much does it cost to go through this program, Jeremy? So it's $5,500 to 5, go through the 10-week program. And there is some financial aid, right? Uh, there's actually right now, there isn't, there is money that comes from Medallion from New Hampshire uh, Charitable Trust. There yep. is money that comes from My Turn. Different agencies support them and in some cases they pay their own way. Lucille Jordan, president of National Community College and Jeremy Tondro, who is vice president of operations for BAE Systems Electronic Systems. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice Thank to have you here. Thank you. And if you want to listen to all that again, that's pretty cool. You go to WMUR.com, up in the left-hand corner, click on Menu, then click on Local News, and then scroll down to New Hampshire's Business.